Maids were called moizia in Cantonese, literally meaning little sisters. Chinese people used to keep maids. Poor families would sell their young daughters to the rich as moizia, and thereafter it was the masters who decided these girls' fate. Some Chinese people regarded buying others' daughters as a way to help the poor to raise their children. However, in the eyes of Westerners, especially the British, these girls, who had to serve permanently without being paid, were just slaves. When Hong Kong was occupied by the British in 1841, the British government was not interested in intervening in Chinese traditions. Rarely did they step into the life of the locals. Therefore, the anti Muay Thai movement that started in the second half of the 19th century became the first local incident in which the British Parliament was deeply involved since the territory stood as a trading port. Mm Sangai 這個被綁架和被拐賣的罪行是這麼多種的犯罪裡面的最嚴重的一種罪行我們看看被拐賣的人口他們在市場上的價格是可以去到五十元 as Hong Kong was close to China and there was no particular immigration control, it became a popular port trafficking men and women for the purposes of forced labor, prostitution and servitude, for example as Muay Thai. Seeing that the problem of abduction had become increasingly serious, the government put a ban on the abduction of women and children in 1873. 究竟自己還可不可以繼續去買賣奴婢呢如果現在殖民地政府說不准你去這樣做的時候在家裏面的中共的傳統的風俗如何去維繫呢所以其實我想有一些華商就會留意到遲早就會殺埋來影響他們的
In order to combat illegal human trafficking, two Tonghua ex-directors and several Chinese businessmen presented a petition to the governor of Hong Kong, Sir John Hennessy, on the 8th of November, 1878, to set up Po Leung Kuk. Po Leung Kuk did not have enough funding at the beginning, and Tonghua Hospital allocated the upper floors of two of its buildings, Ping On Block and Fuk Sao Block, for Po Leung Kuk to use as an office and a temporary house for girls who had been kidnapped. One year after Poland Cook was established, the then Chief Justice Sir John Smale, on the occasion of handling a case of child kidnapping, said that both the purchaser and the negotiator of the purchase should be aware of the unlawfulness of the transaction. His announcement aroused much social concern. On the 22nd of October the same year, a number of Poland Cook directors, together with other Chinese businessmen, wrote to the governor again to explain the traditional Muay Thai system in China asking the government not to interfere with such legal trade between families. Therefore, Therefore, in the second half of the 19th century, the government passed only some of the rules for the protection of women and children. It did not legislate against the transaction of maids. It was not until the 20th century, when the wife of a Navy officer interfered after a Sunday service, that the development of the anti-Muay Thai movement took a real turn. St. John's Cathedral was inaugurated in 1849, standing as the first cathedral built after Hong Kong was open for trade. It is now the oldest surviving Western ecclesiastical building in Hong Kong. In the 19th century, the so 他就寫了幾篇文章在報章上面,表達他的心聲,同埋表達對於對觸皮這件事的關注。To find child slavery established and countenanced in a British colony produces a sensation nothing short of utter amazement. The difficulties lying in the way of the removal of this hideous stain are no doubt numerous and complicated. It must cease. 這些文章當然引起政府高層的注意,暗示叫他不要再搞妹子的解放運動。他們就沒有屈服,就繼續說,那結果明明也是很清楚,果然香港政府就是我們見到很快,就是這兩夫婦被調回去英國,就是趕走
The British Parliament turned the screws on Lao Chu Park and Ho Fu, two Chinese members of the Legislative Council, who then issued a notice on the papers on the 22nd of July 1921, inviting people from all walks of life to meet and express their attitudes about these girls. The first forum on Moi Tsai, open to all Hong Kong citizens, was then held at 2.30 p.m. on the 30th of July 1921. It took place in Taiping Theatre in Taiwan. It was reported that over 300 people attended the meeting. Journalists from English newspapers were also sent to report about it. The meeting was hosted by Lao Chu Park, with famous Chinese businessmen like Ho Fuk, Chao Su Ki, Chou Xin Wan, and Chao Sou Shun sitting on the stage. The general opinion was to preserve the Muay Thai system. Today, 有地位,而他們本身有妹仔,有妹仔的時候當然要維護自己這種權益,甚至他說他所養的婢女是對的。The meeting lasted three and a half hours, but it was those who supported the Mu Zai system who had the most to say. The opposing voice was not respected. Reverend Wang Oi Tong of the Rhenish Church wrote to a newspaper, Tai Kuang Po, after the meeting. The article, explaining why the meeting concluded that the system was not a problem, aroused a war of words between the defenders and the challengers of the system. In order to promote anti Muay ideas in a more efficient way, several days later, a number of Christians met for the first time at Yang Shui Chun's dental clinic on Queens Road Central to talk about their movement. It was decided that the anti Muay society should be established, which meant a series of anti Muay activities would follow. After half a year of preparation, the anti Muay Society was finally inaugurated on the 26th of March 1922 at the Chinese YMCA of Hong Kong. More than 600 people attended the inauguration. The hall was literally full. Although the mission had proceeded for only half a year, according to the relevant information, the society had successfully attracted more than 1,300 members by the day it was founded officially. They held writing competitions, offered singing lessons for the blind, and gave talks to students for educational purposes. At the same time, they established an investigation department to systematically collect and follow up cases of cruelty to the girls. The persistence of the Hazelwoods finally affected changes in Britain. The Parliament raised the topic in 1922. The Colonial Secretary Winston Churchill wrote to the Governor of Hong Kong, Sir Edward Stubbs, to express his strong discontent over the Muay Thai system in Hong Kong. The 
殖民地步，點解你喺嗰個小小嘅香港搞咗啲咁嘅嘢出嚟，令到我要喺國會上面咁丟架？咁殖民地步咪香香港政府施加壓力咯，咁你香港政府自然就反應。所以變咗嚟講咧，你如果香港要向香港總督嚟到說服佢做一啲嘢嘅話咧，你可能要用誒十斤嘅喉舌。如果你可以有本事透過英國嘅國會喺國會裏面提個問題出嚟嘅話咧。你可能只用兩根嘅頭手喉舌咧，就可以達到同樣嘅效果。To show the British government its progress, the colonial government proposed to the Legislative Council the Female Domestic Service Bill in December that year. At the same time, to confront the voice of challengers, some Chinese businessmen set up the Society for the Prevention of the Cruelty to Muay Thai. Its primary members, including Chao Shou Sun and Feng Ping Chan, held that the Muay Thai system itself was not a problem. The problem lay in some cases of cruelty. It was cruelty which had to be outlawed, not the use of Muay Thai. In the afternoon of the 10th of January 1923, members of the Society for the Prevention of the Cruelty to Muay Thai assembled at Tunghua Hospital. They wish to unite to fight against the female domestic service bill. 其實咧，就防範弱美會就同反對促美會係唱對台戲嘅，因為佢呢班嘅誒士紳咧，即係即係佢係贊成呢個嘅促皮噶嘛，養皮女噶嘛。佢認為反促皮嘅原因咧，就係因為我弱皮，而家我唔弱皮咯。咁啊，變成都可以容忍速備嘅存在咯。Despite the foundation of the Society for the Prevention of the Cruelty to Muay Thai, the system provoked more and more opposition. On the 15th of February 1923, the Female Domestic Service Bill was read for the third time and passed in the Legislative Council. The transaction and employment of Muay Thai were prohibited. Employers of these girls had to register promptly. 一九二三年嗰條條例咧就誒形同虛設啦，因為咧第三部條例嘅第三部分關於誒婢女嘅註冊制度係冇寫明幾時落實噶嘛，因此一啲誒民間團體咧當時反對促婢會，同埋喺英國裏邊關心呢個妹仔嘅運動。嘅人士繼續咧，就係展開喺香港本地嘅一啲嘅輿論啦，嚇，即係同埋向政府嘅要求同爭取啦。又喺英國嗰邊咧，就發動輿論攻勢啦。In October 1929, urged by the colonial secretary, the Hong Kong government finally enacted Part Three of the bill in 1923. So in 1929, this is helping in the fight for the fight for the fight for the fight. You can say that it is a stage of victory. But this fight is also a fight for the fight. People who see that you can't go back to the fight for 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 the fight, then you can cut off the fight for the fight. The other idea is to buy these girls back, but they don't call them fight for the fight. They tell people that this is my young girl. 咁但係照做翻以前即係妹仔做嘅嘢咁，咁所以咧就誒關心妹仔嘅嗰啲人就發覺，咦其實即係二九年嗰條法例都即係都仲係留翻條尾巴喎咁，咁變咗呢條運呢個運動又要再再繼續打落去。It was not until 1938 when the government amended the relevant rules and ordinances concerning female domestic service and the protection of women that the problem was solved. It was required that all adopted daughters had to be registered at the Secretariat for Chinese Affairs. The anti-Muay Thai movement in Hong Kong lasted about 20 years. It was heavily hindered by the political philosophy of the colonial government. Chinese people actually rule Hong Kong. Their goal is not to be in the Putting tree for Dining 특히 making the task of Commons under religion Because it is because he will help the Lucaric Yumoyang in Hong Kong And the Lucaric Yumoyang in Hong Kong is more comfortable to do that Because it is more comfortable to do that 
咁你華人嘅生活嚟講，只要你唔搞事，你唔影響到誒、呃、港英政府，你唔影響到住喺香港嘅誒、呃、英國或者係誒、呃、白種僑民咧，其實佢都唔係好想管你噶啦。呢一種喺文化上邊不干預、不介入，呢、这個係成個即係誒、呃、港英殖民主義嘅一個即係好好好核心嘅一個精神。你都可以話係因為呢個咁核心嘅所謂管治哲學咧。係令到香港呢個咁樣嘅即係不咁不合理、不不人道嘅一個咁父權嘅體制，係繼續可以喺香港呢個殖民地延續啊嘛！即係用我哋今日嘅角度嚟到睇畜養奴婢呢件事咧，我哋就會覺得係好不人道，同埋係一種好誒保守、好落後嘅一種嘅觀念。但係呢件事情咧，喺嗰個香港嘅社會，我哋會見到咧，佢喺唔同嘅誒階段咧。誒對呢個畜養奴婢有唔同嘅嘅睇法啊，嗰、那個價值觀念嘅轉變咧，亦都係睇到成個香港社會嘅演變。If it was not for the British involvement, the fight against the Muay Thai system in the early 20th century in the politically enclosed environment of Hong Kong could have taken 10 or 20 years more to win.